woodshop problem. My problem is that I have this really nice pedestal style workbench that I use here in my workshop. And I do most of my assemblies in this area. And I like the pedestal style because it, it gives me full access around all sides of the workbench and there's no, no legs underneath uh, to trip over. And that works really well for the type of production that I do. Um, however, I still need to use an extra cart or a surface. This is an old dentist tray. But I still need a surface where I can put my tools that I'm using in production. In particular, my pneumatic tools that I use a lot. And uh, these are a pain in the neck here because I, I got to drag this hose around on the floor. And I keep tripping over the hose and it's slow in my roll with my with my production so my idea is instead of having the carts on the side I'm gonna put a shelf at about this level or any level above the workbench and hang a lazy Susan type carousel and that's gonna be the surface that I'll put my pneumatic tools and any any tools and fasteners that I need during my production and I'm gonna hang it on this piece of black pipe this is five feet, but I can do different lengths to put it at different levels. I'm also going to tie into my compressed air line and have the air hose for the pneumatic tools above the workbench as opposed to dragging it on the floor. So these are some parts that I'm going to use to tie into my compressed air line above. This is a carpet pad that I'll use as an anti-slip surface and I'm going to cut some circles out, make some plywood parts.
Well, I'm very excited. My workbench hanging Lazy Susan contraption is complete. It took me about four hours to get all this work done. I have my compressed air hooked up. I'm going to wait about an hour for that silicone to set up before I turn my compressor back on. So hopefully this will solve my problem. The shelf is a little bit wobbly, but I think it's going to work fine for what I need it to do. It's more important that it's easy to assemble and disassemble when I want to put it away. I may add a light underneath it at some point just to have that option because uh, it does create some shade. Uh, but for making these frames, I just need to work around the perimeter of the workbench so it's not going to interfere. So, uh, great. Let's say, uh, let's say it looks good.